This is Aaron Trader. It is hump day, which means it is crude day. Now, the API report came out last night. It was actually pretty bearish. Uh, crude had a build of uh, 0 0.2 million. Gasoline had a build of 3.3 million. This list had a build of 1.2 million. And uh, Cushing had a build of 1.1 million. Okay, so that's pretty bearish right across the board. Now, remember, let's see if it could, uh, is going to confirm here. Uh, now, remember, the EIA report will be out today at 1030. So you want to make sure you keep your eye on that. Could be a very good market mover here. Okay, this video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy or sell any stock commodity ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil daily chart, natural gas daily chart. Let's take a look here at the old crude scheme. Now, I was pointing out here this yesterday, we had this positive divergence going on here on the old uh, uh, RSI here. Now, again, it, it's very slightly, but there is positive divergence. See where we had this low here, okay? Then we had a low, and then we have an even lower low, but now we have a higher low. See that positive divergence? The same things we have here on the natural gas. So you always got to keep in tune with that. Now, here we are getting in, into uh, oversold conditions here on your MACD. When your green goes over your red, that just shows momentum there to the downside. Now it looks like it wants to curl up. If it does, it comes when the green goes above, then we have that positive momentum to the upside, and then this is what you get. Now we are in a downtrend. This is this is still very, very bearish until we can get above that eight simple moving average. Okay, so here's what you want to do here today. Okay, <clears throat> so this is going to be very, very simple. Now, so far here today, we have what they call an inside day, which means your high and low so far is within the high and low of the previous day. Okay, so what we're looking for here on resistant levels here, we're going to take a look at today's high, looking at 74.46, but realistically, yesterday's high, that 74.56 here, and the bottom of this candle at 74.59, that word is what we're looking for, resistant levels. And if we can get above all that there, then we can come down to the bottom of this candle here, you're looking at 75.18, but the big boy right here is going to be this 75.27 level. That's going to be very, very key here, okay? So <clears throat> as you can see, I said, when that price gets below this eight day, I say this all the time, it just wants to fight it the whole way until we can get back above it, like we had here. Once you get that price above it, here we had this uh, nice uh, bull flag going, and then it just stayed right above here until we double top. Okay. Then she came right on down here. So we got to see here what's going to go on. Now, again, there's a lot of brouhaha going on there in the Middle East. I mean, if this thing could erupt here, you could really, really uh, uh, disrupt the oil uh, business here very, very easily. Okay. So that's what we want to watch. Now, of course, we always want to watch that downside situation here. Okay, so crude oil right now sitting at uh, 74.37 here real time. And then what we want to do here next is we, this is what we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking for the bottom of this candle here. You're looking at 72.97. That's going to be your support. And then we'll come right here to today's low. That's at 72.58. And then we'll come right here at 72.20. And then you have your 71.67. That is going to be your big uh, uh, retest here. Now, you can see all this price channel here. Now, even though it's sloping up, now we're starting to flatten out. That's always a good situation. Of course, it could be like this, flatten out here and then go lower here too. So we always got to watch some price channels. It's easy when you just put these right on here. It makes life a lot easier. Now, again, if that is lost, that 71.67 is lost, then all we do is just bring these price channels right across. It makes life very, very easily. Okay, see, there you go. 71.41, that's what you're looking for next. We bring this bad boy across. What do you got? You got 72.10, uh, uh, and then we'll come here. You have 70.13, and then we'll come over here. You have 69.28. We'll always come to the left of the chart, 69.11 uh, on that one, and then we have 68.80, and then your big retest down here at 67.71. Now, <clears throat> everything was selling off in the market because they're talking about this possible recession. The key word here is possible. You don't know that's going to go. If the Fed's going to start raising rate, the lower, uh, lowering up. Uh, cutting the rates here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can take it out of there real quickly. But again, don't look for an emergency Fed meeting. They're going to drop 75 points. That's all bullshit, okay? I think they're going to cut in September, but I think it's going to be a quarter point. They're never going to go. They're going to work it in slowly here. That's just how the Fed works. They always stay too long, and then they, you know, to the, and then not long enough here, okay? So just, just be patient with that. Just trade what's in front of you, not what you want kind of a situation, okay? So here's what we're going to be looking for today. Here you got two key, key levels here, okay? So you obviously want to watch yesterday's high and low. That's always key. But watch this 72.22. That's going to be very, very key in the 71. 67 here on the bottom that's going to be very that's going to be your support levels on the upside you want to watch yeah, yesterday's high that's at 74.56 
But and then this is the bad boy that we're looking for here, this 7528. Okay, so if it gets up to there, we got to see what the reaction is when it does get there. Okay, does it blast through like this, or does it hit it and like with well, this situation here, and then come right on down? Okay, so this is going to be everything on the upside. It's going to be this 8 SMA here. Okay, so again, if you can get above that, well, then we'll just come right here to the top of this candle. <clears throat> okay, so you're looking at uh, uh, 7597. <clears throat> then we'll look at the bottom of this candle here, 7624. Then we'll work yourself right on up here, 7729 is, is what we're looking for. And then we'll come up here, 7769. And then what we're really looking for here is going to be this 21 SMA here, 7823 and your 7827. These are going to be your dude, key, key levels here on the upside if, big if, you can get above that eight SMA. It's going to be that 21 and that 200 day. So if it rallies up here to this eight SMA, just watch what the reaction is. Does it go above and come and close below, or does it break through it like we had this candle? That's what you trade. Okay. So right now, trade that right there. That's what we're looking for. 75.27 on the top into 71.67 here on the bottom. This is our range now. Again, we can go sideways action here too and just level this all out here until we can get some kind of a curl. But again, <clears throat> always look for tells on charts, okay? So this is why I always use the uh, RSI here. Relative strength index is all it is. But I look for opportunities like this here. Okay, these are tells that <clears throat> might say, hey, this can go higher here now. The bottom is in. Okay, let's look here on natural gas, okay? So here's another perfect example of right here. See this? Low, higher low, higher low. Positive divergence as this is going negative, okay? That's a tell. Then our thing is too about here. We had this green come over that red and sold right on down, but now it's flatlined. If we can get that green back above the red, then we're gonna be looking here uh, to take this price higher. Okay, now what we have here is, <clears throat> I pointed out here, we had these indecision candles. But the red one, you never really wanna look at that one, but this green one you do, okay? So this was a uh, actually a bottoming tail situation, and then yesterday put in a higher low, higher high, but you went right and closed right into that eight simple moving average here yesterday, okay? So that's why I take the trade off and wait until today, because we don't know. Is it going to come flying on down here, or is it going to break up like it did? We can always jump back into trade. It's no big deal. I can get in and out of trade in less than 15 seconds, okay? Very, very easy. All right, so now let's just look at the downside first. So now since we're above that, now, this is not going to be our key support level is going to be this 2.02, okay? That's going to be very, very key. Uh, if that is lost, then we're going to go and look to the top of this candle. You're looking at 197, okay? So that's what we're going to be looking at. And then we're going to look here, okay? You're looking at 192, and then we're going to look at yesterday's low at 1.9, and then here's your bad boy here at 1.88, which is the bottom of that candle, okay? So that's what we're looking for on the downside. But everything is eight day is going to be everything. If that's lost, well, then we just follow the candles down until we get the retest. Okay, now again, upside. Well, you obviously want to watch today's high. You're looking at uh, 2.06. But this here is going to be the big key level here at 2.11. Okay, now there is a, a resistance here in the in, be, in between here. You got uh, like a, say, uh, 2.08 level here. You got 2.10. But this is what you're looking for is this. 21 SMA. Now we'd have to see what kind of reaction we get, just like on crude here, when it does get there. Okay, so is it going to break through or is it going to be just like what we have going on here and just keep on continuing with this downtrend? That's what we got to uh, wonder right now. Okay, so upside, watch this right here, this 211. Now, again, if you can get above all that here, then we can come right here. Your next level is going to be 2.13. Okay. And then what we have here is you got uh, uh, two point, roughly 2.15 level, okay? And then we have here 2.17, and then you can go into your 2.22, uh, your 100 SMA. Above that, this is what you're going to be looking for, okay, is that 2.27 because that was the recent high, okay? That's what you're going to be looking for. And then we can just rally all the way up here to your 200 day and your 50 SMA here, okay? But <clears throat> I like to point out where it could possibly go, but right now there's two levels here that we're worried about. Okay, I mean, if you're trading, not worried, but you know, if you're trading, okay, is right here, 2.02. Then with your 8 SMA here, that's going to be very, very critical on the downside. And right here, your 2.11, your 21 day on the upside. Okay, so this is what you want to trade. You break above that, then your big target is going to be 2.22. Okay, you break below it, your big target here is 1.88. Okay, very, very simple. So just keep your trading simple. Okay, so when you look at this chart here, you can see the downtrend. 
going, but look for tells like this, okay? See, boom, 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 positive divergence. Just like we had this negative divergence going on here, now we have the positive here. So this reaction here was negative. So let's see if this positive divergence can be positive and take that bad boy higher. Then this is oversold conditions here, but if that green gets above, that shows a, a MACD, uh, uh, kind of measures a, a momentum to the upside or to the downside. And you can see here, you know, what happens when it goes, uh, green goes below the red. And you can have, see what happens when it goes above the red. See, very, very clear, up and down. But see, and also look for patterns, okay? See this? Head, left shoulder, right shoulder. Head and shoulders pattern, okay? Always try to recognize that. You add this all up here. You get this 8 data across the 21. That's bearish. And then you get this negative divergence. This is how it all starts, right here, okay? Like this positive divergence. So let's just see if we can start rallying this up. So today, right there, watch that eight day on the bottom, and then watch that 21 day on the top. It might just trade that range, but eventually it's going to pop up or she's going to pop right on down. On crude oil, watch that <clears throat> yesterday's high. That's that 74.56, and then watch this eight SMA, okay? See what kind of reaction, if it gets there, what kind of reaction? Now, remember that uh, EIA report will be out at 1030 there on crude. Now, I'll be back here uh, midday trading, and we'll take a look at crude, natural gas, and then we always throw something else in the old mix. Now, remember, trade what's in front of you, not what you want.